Greetings, VAC fans. This is going to be actually a verification round of doing a closed room 10 minute air cleaner test. So I have the bottom of the door blocked off and the HVAC vent also blocked off and the HVAC is not actually on at the moment. So for those of you that um, are just uh, viewing for the first time, what I do is I close off this room and this room has 900 cubic feet of air. And yeah, I went ahead and measured the room and then subtracted the furniture. And this is a rainbow E2 two-speed platinum. And as measured from right here at the inlet, we're a little less than 100 CFM. I think about 98 CFM with this particular filter. Now, in another video that you haven't seen yet, but you will see soon, the filter back here I have tested and it does clean down to zero particles as measured right from here and if you notice the exhaust door is missing I don't happen to have that at the moment so if you look back in my particle tests in my meter here you'll see that for a D4C SE I've got I got two of them no filters in the back because they're they're from the 90s they actually increased the particle count measured by this for 0 0.3 microns by 61 percent over 10 minutes in this room so when the e2 series came out they put a hepa filter in there because the thing is is there's an awful lot of water vapor that was increasing the particle count and if you're going to pass a particle count test You've got to reduce your particles, not increase your particles. Even if your particles are just water vapor, it's still increasing the particles. So let's take a look at how this much newer E2 series does with the particle count test. Yep, I'm expecting good things. And this is actually the second time I'm, I'm running this, uh, just, to, just to verify this. So it's don't worry, it's actually going to be a good thing. It's going to be much improvement. Um, so we'll see what this thing can actually do. So let's take some initial conditions. And let's see if I can get a decent focus without getting all that glare. This is nighttime, so I got a bunch of lights on in the room. All right, so we're starting out about 19,000. You can see the 2.5 microns, <laughs> that's got a significant amount, 110. Still extremely clean air. Okay, so we're a little less than 20,000, we're at 19,000 something rather. All right, so we're gonna run the most boring test you could possibly run. And away we go, high speed.
see if I can measure this up off the floor. There we go. More where you breathe. Alright, here we go. First measurement. Okay, 20,000. Not seeing that much of an improvement yet. So, not really any appreciable change yet. Alright, so, up off the floor. Not really seeing much change just yet. Okay, it's starting to drop. That's good. The D4C didn't drop. We are dropping. That's a good sign. We are dropping.
finished. And let's go ahead and take a final count. And the reason why I'm actually measuring this thing up here is because normally we don't have our noses right on the carpet. So I just want to try to be consistent. So let's see. Let's see if we can kind of see everything in the background. All right, final reading coming up. All right, 17,000. I guess it's a little more focused. All right, so we got a nice drop. So we might have something like a 20% drop. So just remember that the D4C, well, and of course D3 and probably D2, the older series without a filter, they had a rise, a very significant rise. So there is a nice improvement. I mean, we're actually talking about removing particles from the air. So nice, nice, look at that. Okay, so quite a success, quite an improvement. I realize that they've had the filters now in the E2 series for, well, a few decades now, right? But for, what, 60 years, they didn't have any filters. And what was happening was they were adding particles to the air. But you know what I will say? This is definitely something I'll, I'll say with this, is that the, the effect, of water washing the air, what it kind of smells like and feels like, was a lot stronger with the D4 series. With it adding so much water vapor, the E2 series doesn't seem to be adding um, a whole lot of water vapor. I'll have to go back, and I wasn't paying particular attention to the um, relative humidity on this thing. I don't think it's skyrocketed. So the particles um, went down. It was definitely significant. Uh, so that's very nice. That is quite an improvement, but it took Rainbow a number of decades to get to that point where they started reducing the particles in the air rather than adding so many particles to the air. So Rainbow E2 fans, if you're looking for a lower particle count, this is what you got. So nice big thumbs up. Yay! Stay tuned for a lot more Rainbow tests.